If you've driven along the I-5 corridor between Seattle and Tacoma, you've likely seen this on your commute. Walls tagged from top to bottom with graffiti. Graffiti has been a consistent problem on the state's freeways, and it's becoming more expensive. Numbers from Wazadot show that the costs of cleaning up graffiti increased significantly in 2020, then shot up again last year. It is everywhere. But Representative Andrew Barkis has an idea on how to deal with the illegal art. Drone technology is expanding, and there are actually drones that you can load with paint and paint over this. Earlier this year, Barkis introduced HB 1989, which creates a million-dollar pilot program that utilizes drones to paint over graffiti. The program also explores different paints and coverings that could be used on infrastructure projects that prevent spray paint from sticking. Traffic cameras could also be used to spot graffiti artists while they're tagging walls. Today, you would have to send out a crew with a high lift truck and eight people, and you know it just takes too long and it's too expensive. One person with a drone can paint over an area, and if you have a fleet of those, then you're staying on top of it, you're cleaning it up, and you're not allowing it to stay present for a long period of time. Last week, Governor Inslee signed off on the project. Now Barkas hopes this can be the first step in cleaning up the state's highways. I don't believe that graffiti will ever go away. It's been around forever. But I think there's a pride in our community. I think that the people of Seattle and the Northwest and the Puget Sound region especially are very tired of this. Now the program will kick off on June 6th once the bill goes into effect. Six months after that, WashDOT will give the state legislature an update on the program's progress. Live in Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.